Hey guys, it's Chris Time FK7, and today we're gonna to be changing out the grill on your hatches. Let's go. I actually received two grills, both are from American Modified. I have both the shark looking grill and their race looking grill. Um, and as you can see, this is the stock grill. That's because I already took off the stock grill and replaced it with the shark grill, which you will see uh, further into the video. But like I was saying, in today's video, we're gonna be installing the American Modified grill on your FK7, um, or it also works with the Type R, uh, pretty much 10th gen Honda Civics. I'm not a professional mechanic or an expert auto body specialist but if i can do it then for sure an average person uh can you know do it themselves as well basically what we're gonna do um i already have the car on you know some ramps or you just use jack stands to lift up your car and i do need to rewrap this car because as you can see the uh my wrap is like peeling off a little bit it's like chipping away I forgot how heavy the uh, the hood for the FK7 is. I'm, I'm used to opening up that hood over there because I'm always cleaning the engine bay. Uh, but this one, man, everything feels 10 times heavier when you're sick. This is the engine bay cover that I got, off, that I got from Amazon. Excuse me, uh, I'm out of breath. I just opened up that hood. Uh, so yeah, this is the engine bay cover I got off of Amazon so basically I'm gonna be taking this off so that I you know I can properly take these little push pins uh, off because you will need to take these off anything you see in the front right here that's what you're gonna be needing to take off um, so we're gonna do just that there's a 10 mil here that was be that was being used by the engine bay cover. So um, basically took this off, it's a 10 millimeter. One right there and one right here. And then all these little plastic bits right here, get your plastic prying tool, pry them all off. Um, and then this one, it looks like we do need to take this plastic shield off right here. Uh, so, we're gonna go ahead and do that next. Before you do anything, make sure you take a picture of you know of the whole thing, uh, so that when you're putting it back together, you know exactly what goes into what. Um, I've done that in the past where I you know I pretty much wing everything, and when it came to putting stuff back together, I had no idea what I was doing. So take a picture so that you'll have. You know, you can look back and see where everything goes. If you guys haven't done any of this before, so basically what I do is I grab one of these little prying tools. Uh, so we're gonna look inside of this, right? You see how there's like little gaps right there? So this would be a gap. Um, so we're just gonna try to go like this without, you know, without breaking the clips. Uh, if you do break it, it's fine. You know, these are easily uh, replaceable and they're fairly cheap you can get this pretty much anywhere so do this and pop it out like that see how it pops out like that so we're gonna do that for all of them uh, so there should be one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine of them. All right, so I got them all loose. If it hadn't popped off completely, just pull it off with your hand, just like that. Set it off to the side. Make sure they don't fall here, otherwise you're gonna have a hard time looking for them. So we're just basically gonna take off all the plastic stuff. Okay, and now we're gonna set all of these to the side but I'm like right here that's fine right there just in case the doggy decides to eat it so now that we have basically all the plastic stuff all the plastic clips 
uh, off. I'm going to go ahead and pull this right here. Now we're able to remove this. Next is to remove these little plastic things. Uh, yeah, I know, right? There's more plastic things, but all of this right here, all of that. So for these clips, uh, they're a little bit different than your, you know, the bigger ones earlier. These are a little bit smaller. They're more fragile. They're more brittle. Um, and if you're planning on not damaging them, I suggest sticking your little prying tool underneath first like this. So once you stick your prying tool like that, you're just going to twist it around. You're going to make like a little 360 until it pops out. Just like that. See? See how it pops out like that without breaking it? So that's how you take that off. I'm going to set that to the side. I'm going to do another one for you guys just so that I can make things clear. I'm going to go like this, twist it around, and then it pops out like that. Okay? So... Again, put that to the side, make sure it doesn't fall. And again, over here. And there you go. Comes off just like that. Do that for all the little um, plastic screws you see. You've obviously on the other side as well. And then this one broke from previous attempts. So I'm just gonna pop this off. This was actually the bigger one, not the smaller one. But yeah, here we go. It chipped off in the past, so yeah. <clears throat> All right, so now we can take this little weather stripping off. Comes off like that. Set this to the side. And now, this thing is now moving around. So I think that's it for the top. Um, next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going underneath the car um, because there is some plastic clips and some screws that we need to take off. But first, I'm gonna have to take off my aftermarket um, splitter. All right guys, so we're underneath the car. And so I actually have underglows installed, uh, so I'm going to have to take this off, unfortunately. Um, so we have some more plastic clips under here. From what I counted, uh, there's about 11 of them. I could be wrong, um, but there's about 11 of these. And you're basically going to be taking it off all of this, okay? See how it ends right here? This is your front bumper. So that's what you're just going to take off. There's a little hex screw right there, uh, which, you know, it's always a pain in the ass to get. Um, and then over here, looks like there's a 10 millimeter right there. So there's one here and then one on the other side. So take that off as well. taking these clips off these ones are really hard to get for some reason so this one I'm like doing all my strength I know I only have like a third of my strength because I'm sick it's the one almost in the middle uh, so this uh, I managed to get this one off I kind of forced it I broke it and then I ended up losing that push pin but the top push pins are super hard to get I'm like using all my strength and it's not doing anything there's a 10 millimeter right here the very end so I'm gonna take that and take it off like this. just like that there's another one on the other end <laughs> which is right there Done. All right, 
So now it's almost we're almost there. We just need to take this off and this off. Cool. So once we got all the plastic clips and screws out of the way, uh, we're gonna go to the side of the car now because there is some Phillips head screws. So now that we took off the two screws, we're gonna grab this part right here and then we're just gonna pull on it until it pops out like that, okay? Do that on both sides because this is really what's holding on to the bumper now. So uh, make sure you took off the screws and then grab on the side and pull just like that. Turns out there are some clips that need to be t released on top. So you're gonna grab this top part right here, grab onto it like this, and then you're just gonna pull. You see how there's like little clips right there? Um, I find it easier to pull instead of, you know, getting a screwdriver and like taking it off. Um, so I'm gonna pull on it and it should come out just like what it did on the other side without breaking anything just like that and pull so now this whole top part is loose i'm gonna try pulling on it see what happens Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's what we want. So we got half of it off. Let's see if I broke anything. Nope, did not break anything. All I did was just pull on this part right there. We're gonna do the same over here. So this part is actually kind of off already. Um, it's just this part right here, which is holding it in place. success all right don't completely take the bumper off just yet what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna grab something I'm gonna put it underneath right here to support the weight of the bumper because uh, I just want this bumper to be partially taken off okay so I'm just gonna take it off like that so it's resting on the box now if you look right there, your fog lights are right over there. So you wanna disconnect that first uh, because that's what's holding onto your bumper. Like depending on which fog light you have, um, see I have the last fit one so I can just twist it off like this and it should come off like that. I just twist it to the left. So everything is pretty much disconnected uh, I even disconnected my underglows. So now, only thing left to do is to pull this off. And there is your whole bumper. So we're gonna set this aside. And that's basically how you take off your bumper uh, on the FK7 or any 10th gen Honda Civic. Um, same thing goes for the Type R as well. So now, to install the grill, you're gonna have to go behind your bumper because there's some screws that you need to take off, which I'll show you guys a uh, better close up in a little bit. Sorry if I sound out of breath. I do have COVID, so you might be hearing me breathe all over this video, but yeah. We're gonna go ahead and install the aftermarket grill onto the bumper now. So this is behind the front bumper. 
There's a bunch of Phillips head screws that I, I'm going to be unscrewing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven of them. And there looks like some clips that are holding the front grill together. So we're going to unclip these as well. Um, so let's go ahead and do that first. So once we unscrewed everything, there's a bunch of clips. Uh, there's one right here and another one right here. Basically, what you're going to do is you're just going to push it. There you go. Now, you have to worry about these top ones. So there's a bunch of clips right on top as well. See, mine's wrapped, so mine's a little bit complicated. So what I did was I just pushed these out and it came out like that. Uh, as you can see, one clip is already undone. So we're gonna do that for all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, if I include that one. So eight clips in total. All you gotta do is just push this top that way. So when you're taking off your bumper, be careful uh, because these clips are fairly weak. Um, I already broke off some of these clips. By the way, this is supposed to be white. This is wrapped. Um, it's kind of obvious right here uh, as these edges right here are peeling. But this right here is your bumble, bumble, the bumper. Um, and if you want, you can also change your grill. Uh, your bottom grill right here out. Uh, they do sell some aftermarket uh, bottom piece grills. That way you can further customize your vehicle. Here is a comparison of all three grills. Uh, on the bottom obviously we have the OEM Honda grill. The second grill we have like the shark, uh, shark tooth grill. And then on the third on the top we have the racing uh, grill. Basically uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing both of these grills onto the FK7 bumper. Uh, now the most preferred grill that I'm going to go with is this one because it's more open. Uh, so more air means more power, more whooshing, uh, more efficient cooling pretty much uh, for your engine. Uh, because if we compare these grills to the OEM one, as you can see, it's not as open as these other two right here. So let's go ahead and install uh, these grills onto the FK7. All right guys, so what we basically did was we just aligned this bumper onto your, or we just aligned the grill onto your bumper. Uh, so I'm gonna go under here so you guys can see. Starting off right here, uh, we're just gonna put the first screw in since the two holes are aligned. All right, so this side is in. As far as these clips, you're just gonna clip these into your existing holes. Um, See how there's like a white part right there? I'm gonna try to align it as best as you can. Just like that. Okay. And you're gonna do it to all of the clips as well as down here. Uh, as well as right here. You see how there's a hole here? You're gonna put a screw there and then you're gonna basically just align everything all together and like clip whatever needs to be clipped. So that right there is the grill itself. Now I did have my car wrapped. That's why you're seeing all that nasty stuff right there. Now that we put the main grill in place, we're gonna grab our little um, eyelid or the headlight eyelid, and then 
we're basically just gonna line it with these holes right here which goes like this and clip it in place just like that and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so you're done installing the grill uh, so obviously the only thing left to do is to put this back on the car strip back on uh, the smaller clips go here and then the bigger push pin goes here but we're gonna be doing the bigger ones later uh, because there is a little shield that goes right on top of that um, so do the weather stripping first all the little small screws all right so now that we have all the clips put back where they belong I did manage to lose a couple of them, like one right here and another right there. But that's fine, I mean, just as long as most of it's there. Uh, you could get replacement clips. These are like, again, these are like really cheap. You just buy them off Amazon or, you know, if you want OEM, buy them from Honda. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that without a clip over there. Uh, and then now, I guess the last thing to do is put everything back together on the bottom. Um, so the clips, the two hex screws, and the two 10 millimeter screws, um, and then the push clips as well. And then we actually connected the fog lights back on. Once you do that, make sure you test it out before you install the little clips back on. Otherwise, if it's not working, then you're gonna have to go back in here again and you're basically gonna waste time. Uh, once you verify that it's working, we're gonna put all the little push clips back in place. Now I do have underglows, so I'm gonna put my underglows back on. And after that, I think we're done. This is the final result. First impressions, um, like I said earlier in the video, this grill really isn't for everyone. At first, I didn't really like it, but it's actually growing on me. This is what I like most about this, because if we go over here on the side, look at that. That looks really nice, and it actually reminds me of like a BMW grill mixed with um, a Hyundai grill, like the, uh, I think it's the Hon Hyundai Elantra. If I were to give it like a rating, personally, I would rate this uh, a four out of 10 because of the little grr looking teeth. The car pretty much looks like it has fangs. It's like saying rawr. So if you want to make your car look like a shark uh, or make it look more aggressive, then this is the grill for you. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, this grill isn't for everyone. If you have a white car like me, I do suggest maybe wrapping this black uh, because this white does show a little bit. I do like the stock grill, but it does restrict the amount of air that goes into your engine. Because um, look at this compared to this. All right guys, so I'm actually driving inside the car with a new grill on and I noticed that my intake has gotten a little bit louder. Um, it's not, you know, it's not a major change, but it's like a subtle change. Um, but like, if we go like this, I'm gonna keep quiet so that you guys can hear. I feel like more air is coming into the intake because it has like a bigger hole or a bigger opening rather um, compared to like the stock grill where you know there's like black plastic uh, that was blocking the um, the intake or the, the airways uh, but with this one it has more openings 
um, more air is going into my intake and I've also noticed that the intake temperature on the newer grill is lower than the stock grill uh, because like I said more air is getting into that intake uh, resulting in cooler air uh, going into the engine so we're gonna try it with the windows down now I'm not sure how well you guys can hear it but we're gonna try doing this Hopefully you guys heard that, but the the whooshing is more pronounced. Ooh, fire truck. So installing this grill took about four hours. Um, it was pretty much straightforward, and I did lose some plastic push pins, but that's fine. It always happens. You can always get replacement ones uh, if you break it or if you uh, lose it. So like I said in the beginning of this video, if I can do it, then an average person can also do it. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. And if you want it to have that more aggressive look, then definitely look into changing out your grill uh, because it does make a huge difference, uh, not only appearance-wise, but also performance-wise. But I also want to ask what you guys think. So comment down below what you guys think about this grill if you were to install this on your car or do you prefer to have the stock or the racing version? Um, so comment down below because I want to know. Anyways guys, that's about the end of this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're interested in LED lights or floor mats for your car, be sure to check out LastFit's website. They also sell some wireless chargers as well as some other accessories for your car. So check that out. Uh, you do get a 10% discount if you use my code CTFK7. The links will be down in the description. And if you're interested on any of these grills or duckbill spoiler, check out American Modified's website because they are my new sponsor as well. Uh, links will be down below on the description. As always guys, thank you all for watching. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do upload videos regularly every week. Anyways guys, I am kind of out of breath from talking already. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Again, this is Chris Time FK7. Peace out.